In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus ammonium bromide. It's a bit of an intimidating looking equation, but it's really not too bad. With net ionic equations, first we need to balance the molecular equation. So I can see here I have one bromine and then two here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium bromide. Now I have two ammoniums and only one here. So if I put a two here, that gives me two of these ammoniums. So those are balanced. Now I have two acetates as well, because this two is multiplied by the whole thing. But that's fine. I have two acetates right here. So those are balanced. One lead, one lead. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So we need to know our solubility rules. Acetates right here, very soluble. Write AQ. It's aqueous. It's going to dissolve, dissociate. Ammonium compounds, also very soluble. And there we have ammonium acetate, so that is going to be soluble. But whenever I see like a lead compound, lead chloride, lead bromide, lead iodide, I like to make sure I know whether that's soluble or insoluble. So let's look at a chart here. And we find lead here and then bromide. So we go over and up. And that SS, that means it's slightly soluble. A little bit of it dissolves, but really not very much. And for the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider that to be insoluble. So we're going to consider this to be a solid. Most of it's a solid anyway. So we have our states for the net ionic equation. Now we can split strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So we have lead, but we don't know the charge on lead since it's a transition metal. It can have different charges. We do know that this whole acetate is always 1 minus. We have two of them. Lead has to be 2 plus. So we have the lead 2 ion, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I'm not going to write that now. And then we have two acetate ions. The ammonium ion, that's always 1 plus, and the bromide ion, that's the minus. So we have two ammonium ions and two bromide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation with lead 2 acetate plus ammonium bromide. Now we can work with the products. We said the ammonium ion, that whole thing is 1 plus, and this whole acetate ion has a negative charge. So we have two ammonium ions, and then we have two of these acetate ions. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. So this is just PbBr2. So we have our complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see I have two acetate ions here in the reactants, two in the products. So you have a negative up there. Those are gone. I have ammonium, two of them, two here. Cross those out. And what's left, this is the net ionic equation for lead two acetate plus ammonium bromide. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for lead 2 acetate plus ammonium bromide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 plus here and 2 times the 1 minus. That's 2 minus. 2 plus 2 minus. They give us a net charge of 0. We have a net charge of 0 over here. And the equation is also balanced for the number of atoms on each side. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for PbC2H3O22 plus NH4Br, lead to acetate plus ammonium bromide. Thanks for watching.